last week out at Slinger, Tony Kanan picked up his second win on the season. We already know about Scott Speed's four in a row win streak. Um, he was not with us at Slinger today. We go to Circle Lake Raceway. Pretty sure that this is a dirt track. I could be wrong, but I think this is a dirt track. So let's jump right in to practice. Your boy was correct. This is a dirt track. I don't think I've ever raced here, and honestly, that kind of shows. Um, just like that, we got to get an 1880. Yeah, an 1882. I don't know if we're going to be able to get that or not. Um, watching Greg Biffle, his cars aren't getting really that, like, sideways, kind of like I thought that they would. So, oh, we're going to tap that wall just a little bit. Still running in the 19s. So hopefully we can get that changed and probably it's going to be a lot of accidents um, tonight. I've noticed that there's a lot of, uh, there, the accidents are a lot more when, um, when there's, when, when it's a dirt track, the accidents are, you know, much bigger. You see the cars going up over each other and stuff like that. We got at 1877 that lap and uh, we're gonna back that up with the 1895 so that's gonna conclude our practice session and let's jump into with the first heat Are green here at the track at Circle Lake. Hopefully, this is not just a giant crash fest, and maybe Tony Stewart can get a win because we are on a dirt track, and Tony Stewart's normally pretty good on these dirt tracks. So maybe we will see him get a win finally, and um curious to see also if um oh they're gonna get into it and willie t ribs is gonna go for a ride scott speed running in a second guy misses one week misses one race and uh he's already up in second and uh will scott speed get a seventh win today we're gonna have to find out willie t ribs went for a pretty wild ride. Scott Speed has fallen back to fifth, actually. That restart, I guess, was not the best for him, which, you know, I I'm okay with that. He doesn't need any more wins. He's got one more win than we do, and we came out here and just, like, absolutely dominated, but I don't think we won four races in a row either. Hopefully your guys' Thursday is going good. Holy crap. I have no idea what happened there. Scott Speed up to second again. I wonder if he's going to lose any spots. I have no idea what happened there. Holy crap. I mean, like, I'm happy that I was able to drive through that, but, like, what on earth happened? I don't even know who got in... To it, Bobby Labane. We're gonna get into him just, just a little bit. Nothing too bad, though. So I, I've been kind of considering now that you know the SRX, um, that this year's season. Bobby Labane is being showed two laps, and I don't know if, I don't know what that is, but 
All right. Um, I'm kind of contemplating on now that the SRX season for this year has been postponed. I think that was uh, Tony Stewart and um, Scott Speed getting into it there. But now that season four of SRX in real life has been postponed, um, I think what we're going to do is we're just going to run the 10 race schedule on SRX on the game here. And um, it's just all the paved tracks. Because I, I don't really... I don't really feel like doing this exact same schedule over again because for some weird reason, I don't know why, but we cannot make our own custom schedules. So I think it would be um, fun for us if we did the uh, oh contact over there. Oh, and we're actually going to pound the wall. Willie T. Ribs is in the lead. Um... If we just do all the paved tracks, um, I think that's what we're going to do. Then we can do some of the late model stuff as well. Um, I'm still contemplating on doing the Stadium Super Truck Series because I know you guys want to see that. But we will have to see what happens. Not too many, let's say, not really too many crashes as I just caused one right there. And we are gonna finish sixth for the first heat. Green flag is out for heat race number two of the night and we are going to start seventh on the board hopefully we get a better finish than sixth what was what was ernie francis what is he doing ernie francis jr wins the first heat and man just drives like a madman in the second heat like what is he what is ernie francis jr doing Green flag is back out. I'm not too sure what Ernie Francis Jr. was doing there. Okay, we're just going to shortcut there. That actually worked better than I thought it was going to. Running the high line just kills all of your momentum and everything. Like, I don't know how you have a catcher now, guys. Stayed up there. Oh, oh, brother. Oh, man. Um, that was a big one. I, that, uh, wow. <clears throat> Green once again in this second heat. I feel like this second heat is going to be more wild than the first heat. Ernie Francis Jr. driving like a menace to society. Once again, Bobby Labonte is going to go around, and we are going to kind of save it there. Scott, Scott Speed is in the lead. Hopefully, he doesn't actually win this race. That would be absolutely amazing. He wins four races in a, four races in a row, takes one week off, comes back, and wins his seventh race. That would be... That would be quite funny, actually. Not going to lie, I, I think I would be about that. Got shuffled back to the back here. Um, I don't know what Ernie Francis Jr. was thinking, but uh, he got into us again, and uh, we are now in the back of the pack, but we are starting on the bottom which means we can use this apron right here and really get some track position. Tony Stewart in the lead, but here comes Scott Speed in the lead.
That 41 machine of Scott Speed is, uh... <laughs> that thing is fast. seconds left in this second heat and Tony Stewart has found his way to the lead once again. I don't want to finish seventh again um, even though that would probably put us at a decent starting position. I'd like to get maybe a top or maybe even the top three if I can. White flag is out for Tony Stewart. If I can catch Helio Castroneves, you guys already know he, he's going around. He's not getting any breaks. That's for sure. Let's see what happens. We're not going to get to him. We're going to have to settle in for a fourth place for the second heat, which isn't bad. Ernie Francis Jr. gets the pull. And uh, Scott Speed snuck in there and won the first heat. Well, won the second heat. We got 25 laps here. So hopefully it goes good. Tony Stewart off to an early lead, and we are actually falling back. And just like that, Scott Speed is in the lead as they wreck behind us. I think Scott Speed's going to get a seventh win tonight. Green is back out once again. And uh, Scott Speed in the lead once again. Oh, boy. We're doing some, some shuffling to the back here. I'm, I'm not liking. We are in dead last. This looks like a mess is going to happen at any minute right now. And uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if something does happen. And there goes somebody right into Tony Stewart. That's actually going to gain us a couple of positions. Marco Andretti in the lead. We are green once again here at Circle Lake. 20 laps to go. Scott Speed back in the lead once again. I kind of want Tony Stewart to get the win, and that there goes Helio Castroneves in 12th where he belongs. a pretty good restart right there but uh, we, we, you know could have gone a little bit better for us especially when we start on the bottom and is Ernie Francis Jr. going to save it no he is not going to save it Ernie Francis Jr. goes all the way to the back Green 
once again, and you know, this is probably going to be either Tony Stewart's race or uh, Scott Speed's race, but I kind of have a feeling Scott Speed probably going to get it, and oh, we actually go around Tony Stewart in the lead. Hopefully we don't have any more restarts. That would be actually quite nice if we didn't have any more of those and we could actually run this race out and have a green flag run. We're going to send it down in the bottom right there. Get to the back of Bobby Labonte's bumper. Rough up Helio <laughs> Castroneves just a little bit. Tony Stewart has the lead. He's got a big lead. And uh, will he keep it? No, he won't because I would spun will he keep it. Tony Stewart, I am sorry if that just costed you the win. I am sorry. You know, last week I caused Luke Fenhouse a win, and you know, tonight I feel like I caused Tony Stewart a win that he long well deserves tonight. Tony Stewart deserves a win. He's gone this whole entire season. He's won so many heat races, but he has not won an actual event as Scott Speed takes the lead back once again. Finally in the top five. Haven't said that really too much in this race. We've got 10 laps to go. Scott Speed in the lead. Tony Stewart running second. And uh, will we see Tony Stewart going to win tonight? I don't think so. I think it's going to be Scott Speed getting his seventh win on the season. We've closed the gap to Marco Andretti, and we are actually just going to go right underneath him and take third place away. We've got eight laps to go. Can I catch Tony Stewart? Might be able to. I don't think we're catching Tony Kanaan. Got Helio Castroneves behind us. Hopefully, uh, nothing funny happens. And, uh, well, that was amazing. Five laps to go here at Circle Lake. I will wreck Helio Castroneves for a third place. I do not care. I will wreck him for third place. And it's it's looking like Scott Speed's gonna get his seventh win on the season. Caught Helio Castroneves, and we are actually going to pass him quite easily. Um, slowly but surely figuring this track out with just three laps to go here at Circle Lake. And I have a feeling that we are going to be able to catch Tony Stewart within the next two laps. 
And yes, we are. Because we have tagged Tony Stewart and we are going to get that second place with two laps to go. Tony Stewart might fight back for second, not sure. Tony Stewart takes second place back. White flag is out for Scott Speed. And we are just going to throw it in here and hopefully hold off Tony Stewart. He has the preferred line. And we are going to get into him. And Tony Stewart's going to spin and save it. And Scott Speed is going to get his seventh win on the season. Final results at Circle Lake. We finish second to a seven-time winner, Scott Speed. Let's look at these full season standings. We got five wins on the season. 100-point lead. Nobody's touching us. We are the SRX champion. And... Um, Scott Speed, seven wins, and four of them he won in a row. Misses a week, comes back the next week, and just wins. Like, what, what, how? What? What is Scott Speed doing, and what is so special about that 41 car? That, like, like what, what, what is so special about it? I, I, I don't know, but um, Tony Stewart in second place? Unfortunately, still winless. Um, that, that, <laughs> that, I don't really know what to say about Tony Stewart. I mean, the guy just can't win, apparently. Finished second at Circle Lake. Next week, we go to Honey Sucks. Honey Suckle Grove. Okay. Honeysuckle Grove Raceway is where we are going, and Scott Scott Speed, man, like, come on. So, Eastern Hills, Tony Kanon wins. Baxterville Speedway, Scott Speed. Chestnut County, Scott Speed. Domingo Park, Scott Speed, four out of his six wins right there, four in a row. Mrs. Slinger comes back for Circle Lake, and he wins it. Like, that is quite insane that Tony Kanon won four in a row, missed a week, came back, and just won. Like, I, I don't get it, Um, you know. But that's that's just Scott speed, you know. Scott has speed. Uh, get the joke. Next week we are going to Honeysuckle Grove Raceway. Um, that's a paved track. So hopefully everything is all good. And then from there we go to Old Mill Raceway, and then the National Fairgrounds Speedway to cap off the SRX season and crown your boy a champ. That's going to be it for today's video, guys. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share with friends if you enjoyed. If you guys are interested in getting a gaming computer, please click the link in the description below this video. Apex Gaming PC is absolutely fantastic computer. And if you guys use code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D, you guys can get 10% off of all products. Yes, you heard that correctly. 10% off of all products using code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D. 10% off using code SQUAD, S-Q-U-A-D. Peace out, and I'll see you guys in the next one.